please like and subscribe um it helps me out a lot i'm really trying to hit a th at least a thousand subscribers by the end of this year um you'll just be seeing all my my experiences and doing what i like just documenting just really my life and stuff like that um birds are game file are a really big part of my life um i've had them since since a young kid um obviously not the same birds i was in and out but i started at a young age i'm the first generation cocker um, i really don't consider myself a cocker just yet don't have the the knowledge or experience that a real cocker would have but time will tell definitely would want birds the rest of my life and i'm really working really hard and investing a lot of money in this dom family that i'm trying to create should be going to be showing well their style i won't be showing but their style will be gaff and plastics plastics are the the spanish style maybe you know style you will show in perico and stuff um weights trying to keep them under four pounds well at four pounds and slightly under that maybe like 312 don't want a really big bird but i also want to keep the height and the muscle mass but also keep speed and power it's it's a, it's a tricky thing it's different ways you can breed birds but yeah, um, like and subscribe, you, you'll see the improvement. And if you go back to my older videos, you'll see how the birds look back then and how the same blood has improved. Since I've been posting on YouTube, it's the same birds that I've been dealing with and just improving and properly selecting because selection is key. Because in one clutch, all, all the birds, they'll be slightly different. Um, um, characteristics, just your, maybe their body language. Um, just just small things um, So selecting is, is a really big it plays a big part on creating a family and inbreeding and line breeding This year I'll be inbreeding um, A lot more than I have So yeah, um, like and subscribe like I've said I'm gonna post notification. I'll be posting whenever I can and if you have any questions or suggestions you know comment below All right, so from this clutch, I'm already selecting future birds for the program. Um, I'm already looking at, as you can see, the, the one that has more white, the yellow one. Um, that one and the lighter blue, it's on the left. The one that just lifted his head up the bluest one like the, the one that has the most blue choosing that yeah by color confirmation color of legs i look uh, at a lot of things then when they mature you know certain tests will have to be done but definitely those will be selected This right here is an older hen. She should be around three years old now. Um, she's produced stacks for me, really good birds. Um, she's been around for a while for a reason.
right, so this hen right here, um, she's out of my, um, this really good bird I had, peak home. Um, he's red in feather, call him Rubio in Spanish. I bred him to one of my bullock hens. Produced her. Um, right now, her brother's showing in Florida, but before that, put him through a couple of tests. He was doing really good. Um, out of this clutch, I'll be choosing the two that's on her right side, my left side. Um, it's the yellow one and the lighter blue. The lighter blue is looking like a, he's looking like a male. That's, that's really good. I've learned to keep them hungry and don't overfeed feed gets old and moldy then you have certain sicknesses that occur as long as you have plenty of clean water throughout the day keeping them slightly hungry is definitely the way everyone should do but I'm really looking forward for 2023 um, the family of doms that I've been creating for about five years now, it's, it's really getting somewhere. I've seen a lot of good results this year, 2023. More results should be in, and these birds should be a year old to so go for the test. Well, the big test, small test will be at, at five months. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Because this year I'm not going to be able to keep a lot of birds like I did last year. I'm not going to have much time. For too many birds. So just enough that I can keep up with. It's ideal. So I'm really being really picky this year. I usually am very picky, but being super picky this year of what I'm selecting. Um, and this hen here should be hatching out any day now. Um, her mom is a uh, uh, Mark's Mugs, uh, the spangled side. Really good hen, really good mama. Um, her dad is a uh, one of my white doms, third generation white dom. My own family has a blend. Well, well the, the blend, get into detail a little bit. Um, it's a, a white dom out of the Blackwater farm. Really good bird, he's shown three times. He's retired now, he's an older bird. Um, and crossed him with a Lloyd Minor Blue, really good family that I found. Crossed them together. Then I bred a daughter back to the cock. Then I off of that, had a few stags, showed the stags really good. He outproduced himself. The stags are really, way better in my opinion. And bred the stags to a variety, a variety of different hens. Um, bred them to pure McRae. Bred them to pure March Mugs. Bred them to different Spanish birds. 
it has Betancul, um, a lot of popular, different, you know, Puerto Rican style, fowl. Um, obviously, you know, well-selected hens, so for little stags. Um, yeah, so blood of the white doms are definitely improving, definitely doing better. Is a process yes not all crosses work um but you just call everything go back to the drawing board but you won't know until cross raise them up and show them but not all birds click together so i'm really excited for this see the results of this um cross this will be two times white dom than one time of the mark smugs the mark smugs are uh, spangled they do really good i've seen really good results with them well let's see let's see what happens this center right here she's half she is half uh mccray from the mother's side pure mccray um, got her from a really good breeder. I had the family since I believe it was the 80s, he had told me. Um, bred her to one of my white dom, one of my white dom birds. Oh, well, bred her mom, the, the pure McCray, to a white dom bird. Produced her. This is her first year sitting on eggs. You'll see the results of it. Um, should be really good her mom is really good um have like i had one of her brothers sold him um he's doing really good as well um let's see see how she produces so it's gonna be a two-time white dom and um, she's gonna be 75 percent white dom and a quarter of the mccray uh, mccray is what i've noticed they're a lot more agile a lot more aware of their surroundings I'm kind of skittish on the side. I don't really like that, but I like for a bird to be alert um, for sure. So we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens. Um, there, there's a little while for her to hatch, possibly about 15 days. Stay tuned and we'll see how that clutch does. All right, so that hen right there, she's um, from her mom's side. She's Mark's mugs, but she's not from the spangled side. She's from um, the the blue dark side. Um, that hen was really really good, really aggressive. Um, she wasn't the great greatest of a mom. Um, also, showed one of her brothers. He did really good, and she was the best hen that came out of the clutch. Kept her. Um, to see how she does as a mama and then her offspring. Um, so this clutch that she's laying on would be 75% of the white dom and a quarter of the Mark's Mugs dark side. Um, she's a beautiful hen. Her, um, at least she, she has 16 or 18 tail feathers. I mean, I know she has, you know, the the mall feathers that you would look for and also the length the the two i believe they're called flyers the the two longest feathers they are really long and they go above the rest of the tail feathers i really like that that means she should throw stags with you know big tails longer tails um she's a beautiful hen she's on the tall side she got long legs um and her brother's acting really good so Let's see how she does going back to the white dom. Stay tuned for that clutch. She started sitting the same as the the 50% 50, 50 McCray. Um, same amount of time. So she's also about 15 days away from hatching. Um, just stay tuned and you'll see what I select, what I look for. Um in my birds for the future.
Um, I'm really big on preservation of the blood, preservation of the game fowl. Um, love the history behind the birds. And I just like seeing different genetics click, recessive genes, all this, all the good stuff. Just learning every every year, I learn something new. Um, just stay tuned. Um, I got these octagon cages from eBay. They were on the pricey side. They came from China. They've been holding up pretty good. I've had them about for like three years now. Cover, cover them up in the winter. And got these fly pens. I also made a video on the fly pens. They're uh, four by four um, by seven. And the roost is about at six feet. <laughs> Um, I have the hens in there at the moment, but by the end of the year, they'll all have the, he the the stags that I've selected in these pens. Um, yeah. 